Hey y'all. Good. Hey y'all, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? We about to do a review on Keisha Anderson's book, Q the Entanglements. Or what's the name of that book called, y'all? What's the name of it? Sound off in the comments. Um, what's the name of it? Put it in the comments. Wrong answers only. Ah, hold on, let me let me let me get ready. Okay, so I read the book. Yes, y'all. I've been watching Keisha since like I first of all I didn't read the book and I didn't listen to all y'all's review of the book. So almost everybody that reviewed the book is a fan of hers. I'm a fan of hers too, but you know, like I'm different. I'm different. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say what I got to say, period. Okay. I then bought her hair clearly y'all see i bought her hair for my maternity shoot when i was pregnant with baby royalty y'all her and i her and i got closer keisha and i little did she know she and i got real close because see listen i was watching her when she was with that girl naja or naja whatever her name is i'm not really good at names okay so y'all if y'all been watching me y'all already know i will mess up somebody's name forget somebody's name i don't care so um yeah, I was watching her when she was like taking road trips, staying in cheap hotel rooms with that girl. When she was gay. I've been watching her since she was gay, y'all. And now she with this, 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 she with Jeremy. I'm gonna have to call him by his name, because otherwise I was gonna call him out his name, okay? So now she with Jeremy, and you know, like I still been supporting her. Like I said, her and I, Keisha and I, girl, we got close when she had the um when she had the miscarriage we we grew closer i started watching her more and more and then also when she um when she got pregnant with the twins when she got pregnant with the twins i remember the title of that video is i'm pregnant y'all but i need prayers that video is when she found out she was pregnant with the twins and i actually like cried i felt an overwhelming sense of happiness for her like, I don't know what it was, but something in me, it was her. Because I watch her because of her. I don't watch her because of Jeremy. I've been watching her this long because of who she is. And, um, you know, it's something about her. She's got a magnet, uh, her magnetism, you know. She's got that type of personality, personality that draws me to her. So I watch her because of that. But, y'all, when she got pregnant, I was so happy for her. And I actually wound up getting pregnant with Baby Royalty like a few months after her. So, Baby Royalty is almost a year and a half. Yeah, so Baby Royalty is 13 months old right now. So, our kids are very close together. But I feel like, um, I'm saying all that to say this. I feel like my happiness for her is also a result of me finally being able to have another child because as y'all know i have an 18 year old and then i have the one year old so our, my children are literally like i have an adult child and i have a, a child child so they're and they're so far apart because i kept suffering from miscarriages y'all that's why my children are so far apart in age and then i look pretty young because i had my daughter when i was in high school the oldest one i had in high school sometime in high school okay and then i just had the, the youngest one of, um, of course so um yeah like all of that really brought us together <laughs> but for real though you know what i'm saying so when the book came out i was like okay cool you know what i'm saying but just like everybody else is saying the book is very similar to everything that she's been saying on her channel okay so she basically goes through her relationships in the past with with females and with also another male and then jeremy but what i'm here to say is we already knew basically if y'all haven't bought the book you you i ain't gonna stop nobody's grind go ahead on and buy it and support the kid but if y'all are, you know, if y'all are looking for a review in order to not buy the book, she's basically talking about her cheerleading career, which she always talks about. She's talking about graduating from Spelman, which she always talks about. We already, she basically, if y'all want to know what's in the book, go back and look at her old vlogs. Okay, that's, you know, if you're a longtime fan of her, you will already know what's in the book. But when she, when, you know, what I don't like about the book is Jeremy's part, you know. And I, what I also do not like is that 
all last month she kept on saying y'all we working so hard on the book first of all y'all i'm gonna say what y'all said okay y'all said this i ain't say this y'all said that that is not a book it is not a novel that is a pamphlet that reads like a hood novel or a hood story or something 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 like that. That's what was said. And I mean, I, I agree, y'all. She's not, like, Keisha, she graduated. Her and Jeremy got degrees from college. So do I. Let me just put that in there. We all got degrees, but she's just not well-spoken. She's just not. Like, she tries to be. She definitely tries to be in her video. She tries to use big words, and she always be using them wrong. And sometimes I be like, girl, like, you ain't got to be putting on for us. You ain't got to be trying to seem like you know the words and you don't. But y'all, what killed me is, you know, when if y'all been watching her vlogs after the book was released, the day after she didn't release a vlog. So when she didn't release a vlog, I was like, oh snap, she probably stressed out because the day before she said, y'all, my nerves are bad because the book is going to be released. And then after the book got released, people was dragging her in the comments for still staying with Jeremy after he just stepped out and had a baby. So yeah, he just stepped out and had a baby. Y'all already know this because I'm sure y'all watched all the other reviews before you got to this one. So, you know, little Jeremy Jr., Jr., she just stepped out and had Jr. So, you know, she got her new vlogs up i even sent her a dm like hey girl keep your head up because you know they finna drag you right but i was like i noticed you ain't post a vlog because she posts her vlogs monday through friday at 8 a.m eastern standard time spoken from a real viewer <laughs> so y'all um so don't get it twisted y'all this is no hey i'm just saying what i feel like saying we we still friends after this i'm still watching her vlog and we still friends so um yeah i was like watching her vlog the next day and she was just like going on like everything was cool and then she gonna say babe i think your ex bought the book like she thought it was funny and i was like what is funny about that you need to be seeing if junior mama bought the book don't be talking about his ex bought the book because jeremy said that his ex is married she is married honey she got the ring you got the kids she got the ring okay let's let's just let's just not go there you know what I'm saying? Junior Mama probably. Junior Mama, if you're watching this and you need the link to the book, call me, girl. Let me know. Send me a DM on, on Instagram. Link in my bio. But um, in the description box. The link is in the description box. But um, yeah, y'all, like, why? And then um, I just, like, I wasn't feeling Jeremy's part in the book, which along with everybody else. Y'all, I want to, like, put up snippets of the book, but she does, like, I did watch her vlog and she was made emphasis on the copyright page that she got there and i'm like friend the book is 20 52 pages long and you wasted one page on this copyright like friend uh-uh like who's about to what are we gonna copy off of this this is every girl next door in the hood story like this is not an original story sweetheart but oh okay okay sis you know what i'm saying so i'm not gonna put any snippets here but um yeah, like when I read Jeremy's part, like everybody else said, Jeremy basically was like, it seemed like he was like praising his exes versus Keisha was just kind of explaining her relationship, her past relationships and kind of giving herself an excuse on why she puts up with the BS. And I'm just like, sis, there's no excuse. It's no excuse of why you put up with the BS, whether you had never been with a man or not. You know how you want to be treated period like you wouldn't have took this from no no female either this is not something that you should have said from a female either like she did take it from a female but like you took this same stuff going on with jeremy from a female and then you gonna jump to a male and take this same thing that's crazy and jeremy's part of the book let me get to that part because i keep saying i ain't like that part let me tell you why sweethearts i didn't like that part because it seemed like he was praising his exes and then he gonna say in the book like oh every time i was with him i thought of you what was you thinking that keisha don't do it like this what was you thinking sweetheart because i want to know i want to know like get out of here with that weak game like period like i cannot stand i never really even liked jeremy like every time i watch a vlog and he got that goofy ass smile on his face i just want to smack it off like every time i watch it and then y'all did y'all hear and then I don't know if y'all even I'm pretty sure if y'all watching this y'all a fan of hers but when she said that somebody this this dude don't even work when she said that somebody um when she said that somebody had uh broke into Jeremy's car and stole all his music y'all do not know 
how I thank the Lord for that. I was like, thank God, because that intro is trash. Like, oh, God, I skip that intro every time I watch her vlogs. Every morning, Monday through Friday, I skip the intro. I go, Psh. Like, I don't, I do not even want to hear that. Like, that, that rapping, this, that's not where it's at. You're not a rapper, sweetheart, period. And somebody needs to let you know. Like, and I'm going to have to be the one because that rapping is not where it's at. Like, and she was like, somebody stole Bae's whole rap career. I was like, dead. I was watching laughing. Like, I was rolling laughing. Just like, girl, what career? She was like, he was just about to release some music. He been working on this for like three, four years, ever since y'all been together. Like, you've been putting on for him since y'all been together. If y'all remember one time when they, before they moved into that big house, they were staying in that, that one, like that three bedroom, I think it was a three bedroom condo. I remember one vlog, uh, Keisha had went into his room that was created to be a studio that she gave him. And he had like cigarillos everywhere. Like, you know, she, I don't know if she purposely left that in the vlog or if she just wasn't really being mindful because she's not, she doesn't portray herself to be that type of person. I can't even say she that type of person after reading this book, you know what I'm saying? Or pamphlet or whatever y'all want to call it. So I already knew he was trash when I seen that. I was like, look at this. This is, uh uh, uh uh. And then it'd be always rumors that he's all around Atlanta. If y'all know, if you know, you know. But yeah, it just, it'd be rumors that he's doing all this stuff around Atlanta. He's always on Instagram under some girl's picture, some girl's post, leaving comments. So it was just like, it's a whole messy situation. And I'm gonna still watch y'all because at this point it's just entertaining, if anything. Like, y'all just entertaining because it, even in the last vlog, Jeremy tried to tell us that when he got the estimate for getting the car, for getting that window busted in his car, he gonna say that the insurance company lowered the deductible because they trying to, you know, finesse him out of $500. I'm like, you're lying. Like, the deductible is the cost of the deductible, sweetheart. They not about to lower the deductible because you feel like they trying to get extra money out of you. That's how much it costs. If you don't want to pay, if it's cheaper for you to go get a window, this is how insurance works, baby. Let me tell you, so this nigga's stupid. This nigga been, he always saying something stupid. I already knew he was stupid, like, from the get-go, from the jump, from the get-go, okay? He gonna say, uh, yeah, like, I didn't, I got them the Lord the deductible, and Keisha put that in the vlog. I know she edited in the vlogs. I was like, Keisha, quit playing with me. Like, don't, don't play, don't play with me like this, because now he lying, you know he lying, we know he lying, and then I also caught her... But let me tell y'all how that worked before I could tell y'all the lie that I caught her in too. In which, and then I was reading the comments and everybody was like agreeing with her. But let me get back to the lie that he was telling when he said that they lower his deductible because they trying to charge him $500 just to fix a window. That's how much your deductible comprehensive covers that type of incident when your windows get busted, sweetheart. Your comprehensive deductible is $500. If you don't want to file a claim and pay that $500 and it's cheaper for you to go get a whole new window then you might need to go ahead on and get a whole new window. They're not charging you extra for no scratches or nothing like that. The 500 was what it was gonna cost to do everything, okay? So it might have been better for you to go ahead on and pay that $500 and get everything fixed, get all the scratches. Why are you scratching up this car that this girl didn't got for you? You being reckless with the Audi. Why are you scratching up the car? Talking about all these scratches and stuff that came off. Don't play with me, little boy. Ain't nobody stupid. Like, and I don't know why Keisha put that in the vlog. Like, you paid 500 or Keisha paid $500 for that deductible because that's how much the deductible costs. If it's cheaper for y'all to go ahead on and get a new window from somewhere else and get it put into your car without filing a claim, which might be the smart thing to do because you don't want to keep filing claims. Now this nigga about to run up your insurance costs because now he keep on filing claims for stuff on your, on your insurance. But, um... I'm going to let your mom learn you on that because I ain't here to learn you, baby. Life is already doing it. But when she lied and said that um, they didn't let the baby get his last name, they didn't let the baby get his last name because he was not there to sign the paperwork. This is how it works. When you're not married, the father of the child has to be there in person when the paperwork is time to sign that paperwork. He has to be there in person. He has to sign and show his ID at the same time. 
that is how it works he cannot you can't sign the paperwork because y'all not married that's the only reason why she didn't baby jury didn't get his last name she's talking about oh i couldn't give him his last name you could get you could have gave that baby anybody's last name they wasn't stopping you from giving that baby his last name you just didn't want to get that baby his last name you was mad you was upset and that's all you had to do is say, I'm upset. I didn't give, her, I didn't give the baby his last name. He might have been there and signed the birth certificate, but you're not about to sit up and lie to us and tell us that you couldn't. You could have named that baby A, B, C, D as the last name. And then long as you signed off on it, you being the mother, because first of all, you have full custody over that child because y'all are not married. Like, girl, quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. But so at this point, y'all, the whole dynamic of her channel has changed. I'm watching because at this point, it's love and YouTube or whatever. Love, hip-hop, and YouTube. That's what it just turned into on your channel. So I'm going to keep on watching. But sis is definitely securing the bag. I see she got a whole bunch of sponsorships lined up. She's doing what she got to do to get her forever home. And I wouldn't even be surprised if she getting all this together and just leave Jeremy. Like, because that's just what needs to happen. In my opinion... And then what I have to say is in this whole situation, her mom is the real VIP because her mom is still being there for her, taking care of the uh, taking care of the twins, taking care of all the kids. And y'all, what y'all don't understand about raising children is seeing your adult children go through things that you warned them about, go through things that you probably already went through and they didn't see you go through it and you don't want them to go through nobody. Y'all. Y'all. I'm about to get emotional because I feel her mama's pain. Nobody wants, nobody prepares you for that type of heartache. Nobody tells you about that, that part of raising children, y'all. No one tells you so. Um, y'all, I just did my makeup. I'm about to go somewhere. But like, I felt that. Like, I feel... I know her mom is just like over Jeremy. You know what I'm saying? Her mom is over this whole situation. And her mom got to be there and be strong for her daughter. Her mom is the real MVP, period. Like I said. But um, I I don't want to see these new vlogs where she's sitting up here acting like... When she says she's not about to act like nothing happened. She already... They already know her. She are You know, they know their truth. I'm like, okay. Unless all this is a lie and y'all did this for the money we know the truth true and i want to see some shit go down on the elevator okay period i want to see um y'all might not got jay and bay money but listen i'm gonna need you to push this nigga down the stairs I, I run over his foot something i want to see something in the parking garage something where's your sister at your sister better say something because shanita been telling it all and then shanita Y'all, when Shanita said that she had the twins early because she wasn't taking care of herself, that she was being nasty, uh, maybe she had the twins early because Jeremy was out here cheating while she was going through a high-risk pregnancy. You know she like 4'11", this little-ass girl, having a high-risk pregnancy, carrying two whole babies in her. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga out here cheating on her. Maybe, maybe that's why she had them twins early. Like, come on now, let's be real. Okay, and first of all, before I leave, last of all, if y'all um, see Shanita's um, review of the book, you let me know because I want to see that. I know they didn't shut down her YouTube account, but um, what's her Instagram? Because I want to see her review of the book because Shanita already said all of this. First, and, and then all, Keisha went and pulled a, a J and Bay on us. She would have sold the scandal. That's what the name of the book be, should be, Selling the Scandal. You need to start selling the class called Selling the Scandal, baby, because you did that. You did that. But um, she going to come out on top. She is. This is this the type of stuff that make you a beast. She about to come all the way through. And y'all about to watch it. I'm about to watch it. And um, I, I'm over Jeremy. Like, I want to beat that nigga up. Like, period. But yeah, y'all. You know, I hope she gets to that point where she is over it sooner rather than later that she doesn't waste too much of her pretty waste too much of her time in that whole situation and then you know end up with a whole bunch of regrets you know what i'm saying do not waste your pretty baby if that's a good book to read do y'all know um i don't even know who the author is i think demetra or something like that it's called don't waste your pretty that's a good book to read if you in type in some type of entanglement like this that's a good read that's worth the money right there okay y'all 
but um yeah y'all like i said she gonna come out on top as soon as she probably you know she's as soon as she goes through her embarrassment stage it, it's 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 levels to this because i didn't been through it i have been through it and um you know you you get embarrassed you might get a little bit depressed then you want to save the relationship for the kids and you go through the motions and she gonna go through it and she gonna come out on top she ain't got no other choice but to go up from here you know she built her brand it's crazy because she tried to sell jeremy's t-shirts and nobody wanted that splash nobody wanted it nobody's really buying it and he not even consistent y'all he don't even be selling his t-shirts he's not consistent with it he just out here using her he's just a classic fuck boy he belongs to the streets he from camilton road and he's from the west side ill like girl why you ain't go to the north side and find somebody girl then you got your mama driving all the way from the hood every night every every uh morning to uh downtown to y'all condo to play house with y'all uh-huh uh-huh i'm gonna need this to all i'm gonna need this to all work out and i know it is god got you but, um, yeah, y'all. I think that's all I wanted to say. Yeah. I need to mind my own business. I got to call the Child Support Enforcement Agency and let them know I got my baby daddy's new phone number and all that. So, I'm going to see y'all later. I got other stuff to do. Bye, y'all. Oh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, it's been real. Thanks for watching. Y'all be easy. Peace.